Hello and welcome. We're going to solve this together. Um, but I think you should take a moment, get some graph paper and a ruler, and try this problem on your own. You might be surprised how far you can get. All right, so let's read this question. They want us to graph and label the given system of equations uh, on the coordinate grid shown below. So a system of equations is a collection of equations, more than one. And here we have two. They want to know what is the solution to the system of equations. That means they want to know where these two lines cross. All right, so let's, let's graph these things. Um, first, we have y equals 1 half x plus 2. You might recognize the form here. This is, these are both in what's called y equals mx plus b format. You can see the y is isolated equals a number times x. It's 1 half in the first case, even though we can't see it here. It's just 1 uh, for x here. And then plus 2 or minus 1, that's, that's adding the b value. And what this represents, of course, is that m is your slope, and b is your y-intercept. And this template essentially makes it easy to graph these two. So we're, we're in luck. So the first thing to think about, let's call our, our first function, um, well, I already kind of ruined, ruined the color coding. So let me use, um, sorry, red here for the first one. So y equals 1 half x plus 2. So our slope is 1 half, and sometimes you might think of that as going up a half and over 1, because a half divided by 1 is the same as 1 divided by 2, or any other proportional relationship that helps. All right, 2 over 4 is also the same thing, and our y-intercept is simply 2. Oops, fix that equal sign. So we can plot this. The y-intercept is at 2, and our scale here is 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, and it's going up by 2s. So I'm going to use this version of the slope because it's easiest to fit this graph. We go up 2, it's rise over run, so up 2, over 4, over and over again. And we go backwards and do the same thing. Back 2, back 4, back 2, back 4, right? And this is, take a ruler, connect the dots, do a better job than that, and this is our first line. Now, to label this graph, I'm going to move my writing out of the way. Well, I'm going to move this part, let me clear this off. All you need to do, really, to label your line is take your equation and then just move it next to your graph. That's pretty, pretty traditional for labeling. So here we go. Boom, it's labeled. Um, for the next one, I'm going to use eggplant. This is eggplant color. y equals 1x minus 1. Well, now the slope is equal to 1 over 1 or 2 over 2. And our intercept is negative 1. So let's go find negative 1. It's a little bit frustrating they gave us that because now we have to go between points. But then we go up 1 over 1, right? That's this point here. Here. Up 1 over 1. Up 1 over 1. Up 1 over 1. And then up 1 over 1 here. So these points are harder to graph because they don't give us the correct increments, which I'm not sure why, but okay, we'll leave it there. And again, take your ruler, connect the dots. I'm having a hard time doing it right now, but there we go. And essentially, they're asking us to find the solution here. That means um, that we're trying to find where they cross. So that's this point right here. And I'm making the point big and sloppy because um, here I know that we're going to pass a relatively friendly number. It's when x is 6 and y is 5. 6 comma 5. That's the solution. Now, if we're not confident in this, we can quickly solve it using algebra. And that's actually a pretty good idea. So I'm going to move this equation next to the other line, so we have that label as well. So now they're both labeled. And now I'm going to show how to solve it algebraically because I don't feel confident in this graph. In the first equation, y equals 1 half x plus 2. In the second equation, y equals x minus 1. I'm going to essentially eliminate some variables here. So what I'm going to do is subtract the second equation from the first. y minus y is 0. 1 half minus x is negative 1 half x. 2 minus negative 1 is really 2 plus 1, or 3. And then we'll solve for x. We'll go to add 1 half x to both sides to get rid of that negative sign. And now I know that 1 half x equals 3. Multiply both sides by 2, x will equal 6. So far, so good. We know that's going to meet when x is 6. Right, that's a point where x is 6. Then we're going to take 6 and plug it back into both equations to make sure we have the correct y value. So in the first equation, y equals, oops, I've used red to be consistent, y is equal to 1 half times x, or 6, plus 2. And that's 3 plus 2, or 5. So far, so good. 
Now I'm going to use my eggplant color and plug it in the second one. Y equals X minus 1, or 6 minus 1, that also equals 5. So we're getting the right point 6, 5. Alright, I hope this helped.